Hello everyone, welcome to the last part of our 4 part My Control 2 series. Today we are going to have a look at the Spectrum Data Analysis. What is Spectrum Data Analysis? You can view it as a big brother of the loudness value that we have been using in past tutorials. It is a complete frequency range that the microphone picks up, depending on your sample amount. You can enable it by placing a controller in your scene, opening that file step and clicking to enable Spectrum Data button. An extra drop-down menu will appear below. There's nothing in there yet because there are no frequencies to fill up the list. But as soon as we start the play session, you can see the complete frequency range listed in that menu. So how can we make use of this information? If you look at the left, you can see numbers between the brackets. This is the index of each frequency in our way. If you just need access to one specific frequency index, simply call it in the same way you would when calling the loudness variable. But instead of using loudness, you use what you see in the left. For instance, if you use spectrum data bracket open 12 bracket close, this will make it so that only data from that specific index is called. Let's give it a quick try with a well-known cube scale setup. We create a new script and call it a single spectrum call, then we open it up. You can go quickly to our controller in the scene, and as you maybe have already noticed, there is a button next to the copy loudness setup, called copy spectrum setup. Click it and paste it in your script. As you can see, this loudness variable is an array. This is where we will place the complete array of spectrum data. You do this by calling my controller get component my control spectrum data. Notice that we do not use brackets here as we want a complete array to fill up our variable. We create a variable called index so that a specific index can be set in sight and spectra. We're going to scale the local y-axis of this cube with a specific selected frequency. Our custom index variable is placed between the brackets. Just in case, let's change the loudness variable's name to spectrum to prevent confusion with other scripts. Drag the script onto the cube, hook up the controller, and set an index you would like to use. As you can see here, the frequency of the first index is not that strong. Let's just change it to an index with a stronger frequency. Let's try the index 14. As you can see, the cube's behavior has completely changed due to the difference in frequencies between index 0 and index 14. However, if you're only going to use one index, it is best to disable the spectrum data analysis completely and simply use the loudness value that we have seen in previous tutorials. Now I have seen on how to call on a single index basis. But we can do much more advanced things with this data. With a proper for loop, we can do the same thing but for multiple frequencies. I've prepared several cubes and light sources which we will loop through. A different frequency index will be assigned to each cube and light source. Both scripts for the cube and light source loops can be found in the reference folder. Let's open one up to see what exactly is going on. A variable containing a game object array will be used to contain every cube we have. In the update we will loop through these cubes and of course we will also create a variable in this loop that will call to a spectrum data array. The index in the loop will be used to set the index of both the cube and the spectrum array. A simple if statement is used to check if the microphone is really sending data. We check this by comparing whether the spectrum array has something in it or not. Back in the scene, let's see what we should expect. We have 18 light sources and 284 cubes. This means that if everything went right, the light sources will change their intensity based on spectrum index 0 to 17 and the cubes will change their scale based on indexes between 0 and 283. Scaling and changing the light intensity is of course one of the most basic things that can be done with spectrum data. More advanced things would be for example pattern recognition which AI could use to detect what a player is saying. If you say the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F and so on a clear difference between each letter can be seen. This concludes the last episode of a four-part tutorial series on My Control 2. I hope you found the series useful and educational. If you ran into any problems, feel free to always contact me. There's a contact form on my website, which will be linked below. Have a nice day. Both, 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 both scripts, both script, both, both scripts, both scripts, both scripts for the, both, 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 scripts for the cube and light source, both scripts for the loop and, both scripts for the loop, <laughs> both scripts for, both, 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 both.